Tell us your thoughts when the World Cup squad was announced. You were in, Ashley Cole wasn't, and Luke Shaw was in. Well, I think it was it was obviously something you know that was talked about, and you know there was three options available to the manager, who lads who'd been in the squad, and I think you know eventually he was going to have to pick two of the three, and you know in the end um, he's picked me and Luke, and Ash has missed out this time, but you know I think you know he could have easily picked any two of the three really. How much of a vote of confidence, though, is it for you that he's left Ashley Cole at home, so you're clearly the number one left back in, in Roy's eyes? Well, I think with everything Ash brings to the table, his quality and his experience, that um, it's a big vote of confidence for, for both me and Luke. I think you know everyone um, has seen over the years the performance and the performances that Ash has produced um, at international level, so I think... To, to leave him out and, and bring me and Luke is, is a big um, vote of confidence for the both of us. And what have you made of Luke Shaw this season? I think he's been fantastic. You know, there's been a real positive emergence of, of young talent in the country that I think everyone's excited to now see develop. And, and Luke's one of those at the forefront. And you know, he, he's going to be you know, you know, top top player and around these England squads now for you know the same amount of time Ashley Cole's done. Four years ago, you narrowly missed out. So what does it mean to you like, to be going to a World Cup this time? I think it's great to, to have made, you know, the 23 and, you know, to sort of, you know, not after, like, like as I say, last time I was in the 30 and I, I'd probably come on to that scene. You know, I hadn't been around the international stage very long, so it was a bit of a late run to try and make it. But I think this time, it, you know, it feels great to be involved in the 23 and being able to just look forward to it. And, I mean, obviously nothing is, is set in stone yet, but you look at the England defence and it does look to be a fairly tried and tested line-up that, that, that's played together regularly. Yeah, well, there's, a, there's obviously a group of players there who know each other very well, played each other, played with each other on, an, on a number of occasions now, so, um, you know, that's, that's something for the, for the manager to consider. But, um, you know, there's a lot of competition for places, two players at least for every position, so, um, you know, we'll all be working hard to try and secure a place in the team. Give us an insight into your Everton teammate, Ross Barkley, what he's achieved this season and what he might go on to achieve at this World Cup. Well, I think, you know, for Ross, you know, he can achieve anything, you know, he wants. He's such an exciting player. You know, he's still got that that sort of rawness to him that does excite people and, you know, he's fearless in the way he plays and I think, you know, that's a, a real breath of fresh air around the place and he's done great for us this season. You know, as I say, about, you know, those young players that have really come through this year for the country, Ross is one of those. And does this feel like the start of the, the big push, if you like, towards I think it is. I think, you know, when we first got together, um, you know, at the weekend, um, you know, it that felt like, you know, we were starting now. And, and obviously there's, there's still a few weeks to the first game, so we don't want to be ready to sort of spring out of the traps now. I say it's a, we're going to build it up and, and try and get ourselves in, in peak condition for that first game. Yeah. Leighton, as well as the physical preparation, there's obviously off-field preparation as well. One of the things that Roy's done is bring in Dr Steve Peters, the, the psychiatrist. Is, is he somebody who you think you'll benefit from having in the camp? Have you spoken to him yet? Well, I think it does no harm to have someone like that around the camp for, for the people you know, who would be interested in, in that aspect of, of working with someone like that. I think you know, we, we were introduced properly last night. We had a meeting with him last night and... And um, you know, it was very impressive the background he's got. Amazing, um, how much, how many things he's managed to fit into one lifetime. Really, he's he's got an impressive background, and say he's not forcing himself on anyone. He's there if the lads need him and want to go and talk to him. Something else England are doing now, like clubs do, of course, is have video analysis of opponents. And I think Roy's keen that you you all look at Italy's recent matches. You're, you're, you're really familiar with who you'll come up against in that first game. Is that something that's important? And have you have you started doing that yet in terms of Italy? No, we, we, we won't start that yet, um, or we haven't started it yet anyway. I'm not sure when the plan is from, from the management side to introduce that, but it's something everyone, I think, is familiar with. You do that with your club every week. You know, we have meetings before you, you face your opposition and, and you look at the teams and the individuals. So it's something or a format that everyone's familiar with. And, and I say we've been doing it as a squad as well for a long time. Um, you know, in terms of preparation in that respect, you know, there's no stone left unturned really. We'll, we'll know all the details and we'll be, the manager will make sure we're as well prepared as we can be for every game.